Hi, welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Abadi here, and today I'm around Serakunda, heading towards um, Westfield. So I want to take you around this ride, uh, so you see how. Yeah, so you see how Serakunda is like during time of uh, closing from work. It's a little bit free here, but this is what I run second that this time will be really, really congested. It's a very, very, very busy area. Very busy area. So this is the Sukuta Serakunda Highway. Uh, that's the road that moves from Sukuta towards Serakunda. That's a donkey cart carrying some metal stuff. It's a very tiny road. Actually, it's not very tiny, but because of this dust and uh, sounds around the sand, I mean, around the side of the roads, it's making it a little bit tighter. Uh, we got people, vehicles are running on the place where it's clean or clear. Um, yeah. So, and it's also in the middle of the city, so it's normal that it's not gonna be a very wide road. You have lots of um, furniture sellers on the highway. In fact, around Gambia, wherever you go, almost everywhere you go, you will see furniture sellers everywhere. Almost every 100 to 200 meters, you will see furniture sellers, especially in areas where in a place where it is uh, in the roads around the, the residential area around the main cities you always have um, you always have these furniture sellers everywhere all right so as i'm getting closer to serakunda you would see that the traffic will be holding or halting It is um, maybe only um, two to three kilometers from Serakunda towards Westville, but you might spend about 20 minutes uh, during um, heavy traffic times. Uh, but let's say around night when the traffic is free, it will just be maybe about three minutes to five minutes and you will get from uh, Serakunda towards Westville. Sorry about these dark spots that are on the screen because uh, the wind screen is kind of uh, dirty. Let's see if we can clean it a bit. So you can see how traffic is tight uh, during uh, during these times when everybody is heading home. Uh, usually in Serakunda, um, whether you're moving from Serakunda to Westfield or Westfield to Serakunda, traffic is usually high. But um, let's say if you're gone, because there is a high main or a main Johnson uh, just about 100 to 200 meters away, the Johnson that goes to the Johnson that goes to Manjai, uh, Backward here, you know, and uh, places around that area. Uh, there's a main highway or main junction so anyway you are, anytime you're approaching a main junction you usually have uh, you experience some traffic congestion uh, but let's say if once you pass that junction it will be a little bit free on the lane that i'm on because i'm moving from Serakunda towards westfield when everybody is closing from work uh, moving from westfield towards Serakunda. okay but uh, because of this junction this this other side of the um, road also will be uh, congested you can see it's a major major market uh, main market or selling point Lots of fruit sellers everywhere bananas, you know papayas oranges and some fruit sellers mm -hmm. 
you have e baba i don't know what that is but it's like it's an it's an it's a shop online pay upon delivery oh it's like they have so much some uh products that they sell you can order them online and you pay when it is delivered to you it's not very common here in the gambia you can see right there the blue poster e baba i think that's a good idea It's a very busy area and we are approaching the Sadakunda or yeah the mall of the Gambia. I think it's one of the first mall. Maybe that's where it got its name from Mall of the Gambia. If you're not right there, you're not a money transfer agent. I think that's their main hire, main office. That's Mall of the Gambia, and that's the main highway. Uh, that is, like, let's say the Johnson that goes this way. Is the one that um, takes you to Manjai Mall of the Gambia right here. But like I said, it's a main highway, so you can see uh, right after I cross this place, it will be a little bit free. Okay, so I've gone past the Johnson, there's the petrol station, Gulf petrol station, and at last petrol station. So usually around in the Gambia, when uh, traffic is heavy, police has to be everywhere to try to keep the car traffic calm, you know, and try to keep it, you know, as fast as possible, so they'll be controlling the traffic. You can see, like I said, you can see um, furniture sellers everywhere, almost everywhere you go. So this road is one of the busiest roads um, of the Gambia. The busiest would be the main highway from the town to Banjul, but this is the second busiest, I think. Because anytime, almost anytime during the day you come down here, it will be almost always congested. Because it's uh, in the middle of the city. And it, um, yeah, Westville and Sarakunda are the, one of the most busiest places in the Gambia. And the road is this, this is the road that connects the two places. <laughs> like I said, the traffic will be flowing for a while until before you get to the main another main junction, then it will get stuck again. Big, big of uh, shops everywhere. You have lots of fashion shops, high quality fashion shops on this highway as well. This type of market is also very common in the Gambia where you have lots of second hands used or used clothes from Europe. <laughs> love they are always everywhere you can see them around and this kind of motorbikes are becoming very common in the gambia tuk tuks i think they started becoming common um in the past one or two years three years ago you wouldn't see this on the highway maybe only one or two but now you can see they're everywhere especially this past two years
you see another one is right here on the left side and another one is right in front of me I think they are convenient because they uh, they are small you know they are easily they can easily fit between tiny spaces and they consume less fuel and in fact I think they carry almost the same amount of people as a taxi a normal taxi like this taxi this yellow taxi it carries five passengers you can see this motorbike also is carrying five passengers one two three four five in fact six seven passengers this smaller one in front of me would be like four five three four passengers yeah four passengers but the bigger one that just passed carries about seven so you can see it carries more people and they pay almost the same price as the taxi though they uh they and in fact it's even better they they run a shorter distance and you pay almost the same price i think the same price ten dollars or eight dollars yeah that's the main tariff for gambia yeah uh in gambia most traffic uh tariffs will be eight dollars or ten dollars in fact it, is, it should be eight dollars but because we rarely have these coins like the two dollars one dollars coins to give us change so most drivers will keep the whole 10 d or ten dollars sometimes the passengers in fact almost more almost all the time the passengers will be like you can keep uh, change because they will be like the change is not available i don't have coins so they'll be like yeah you're good but if you're going for a very short distance let's say from this junction right there let's say now for about two three hundred meters they might you might they might also allow you to pay five dollars instead of ten dollars i think we might also do another uh, video on how to uh, or where can you can pick vehicles let's say how much taxis will be pricing or how much taxis will be charging you from moving from this place to that place how you'll be able to uh, bargain you know taxi prices if you are here in the gambia i understand most of you for following this video are away out of the gambia have been out for several years or you've been away or out of gambia you are trying to come down to gambia so i think those kind of videos would be interesting if you would want uh videos like that you can put uh comments in the comments box below so that we know exactly what to help you with and also uh we are doing lots of uh, uh videos on streets you know videos uh village videos city videos if you have any village that you want us to cover just put it in the comments below if you have a lot of likes in those comments we'll try to prioritize those villages though we have our list already but um if we can have your list maybe we can prioritize it yeah all right so that's what i wanted to show you right now i'm in serakunda and um, yeah it's almost uh, i'm almost at Westfield. you can see how traffic is that's just what i wanted to show you how busy traffic will be around this time of the day um we're gonna do uh a long um drive through drive by of uh, westfield uh sorry villages places you know uh this is just to show you the traffic and how it's gonna be like around this time of the day when people are closing i think i've also showed you one at night like let's say around seven eight nine o'clock in the evening it's almost gonna be the same traffic is gonna be heavy while people are closing from work all right so uh yeah Oh, like what I will do is let me just keep this video up uh, so that I can just go all the way up to Westfield so that if you've been missing this place for a while you can see the area you can see how it's like you know so that's Reliance you know it's also a financial service here in the Gambia I know somebody is in the comments all the time to say uh, yeah somebody is on this channel I can't remember exactly the name of the person uh, I think anytime I mention uh, any person has been uh, noticing that I always mention um, ATMs, ATMs, and uh, yeah, it's like the guy, the guy is asking if, uh, or guy or lady is asking if I am, if I work at a bank. No, actually, I don't. I don't work at a bank. Yeah, I was just trying to show you where, you, where, you, which places you can withdraw money. Uh, yeah. yeah and i think he was like yeah atms are or places uh, that you can get money is uh is gonna be known actually when you really need money yeah and which is very very true so i'm right around serikunda main main junction serikunda market main junction you can see big shops you know 
right there you have a, a mini market over there as well lots of mobile phone shops mini markets you know clothes selling point right here We stay in Sarakunda, almost, almost at Westfield. Big trucks. Now, sometimes when these big trucks are not allowed to drive at night uh, during the day, but uh, it's like um, we weren't able to maintain it somehow. But I think Senegal is doing that. The trucks, I uh, understand, the trucks are only allowed to run the road during the day so we're gonna do lots of videos about these places you know within the streets in and out of the streets so they know how um, how um, Gambia has been developing you know since you left the Gambia yes we're almost at Westfield almost that's a petrol station right there new buildings I think these buildings are up not long ago have a road to ourselves and we can now move freely for at least few meters before I get stuck again lots of yam sellers Sarakunda is full of yam if you want to have yam you can just come down to Sarakunda and you're gonna have a lot of it that's the church that is around Westfield, between Westfield and Sarakunda. I think we are still in Sarakunda. That gr the green green sign uh, signboard right there is where you have Westfield. And we're almost, almost there. You have Atlas Petrol Station here. Okay, and we're almost at Westfield. In fact, I can say we are Westfield. So I hope you enjoy this ride. You know, see you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe. You know, share this video with anybody that you think would like this video. See you in another one. Subscribe, please.